today's video would be about some of the very important questions which you might expect in orthopedics. Ahead we will be coming up with some of the important questions which will be asked from other subjects as well. So as far as orthopedics is concerned, you expect 10 to 15 questions in orthopedics and there is no way you should get them wrong because of the high level of competition in the NEAT PG as well as FMG examinations. Now from the analysis of last few years, question papers, feedback from the experts, feedback from the toppers, uh, we could just arrive at some of the most important topics which you have to go through in detail and you should know fully about these topics. So what are these topics which we just should go through and are very important, high yield, expected and very, very important. Now as far as the topics concerned are, I will broadly divide in them into multiple categories. Number one is nerve injuries. Now this nerve injury, the axillary nerve injury, this was asked, but it does not mean that we can get questions only on axillary nerve. So what are the questions asked? Is the radial nerve injury, the sciatic nerve injury, the common peroneal nerve injury, and similar such injuries of the various important nerves in the upper limb and the lower limb. And as far as other branches are concerned, we get injuries related to cranial nerves. But from an orthopedic perspective, radial nerve, ulnar nerve, axillary nerve, muscular cutaneous nerve, common peroneal nerve, and all the other nerves related to the bones are very, very important. And especially the injuries like the claw hand, the wrist drop, the foot drop, and sciatica. They are very, very important. Now, uh, second thing is the traumatology. And in traumatology, we have got these dislocations and fractures. And important questions asked are the dislocations of the shoulder joint, the dislocations of the hip joint. As you can see at the top, I have placed the anterior dislocation of the shoulder joint, which was asked dislocation of the hip. Now, these are, these are very important questions. Lot many questions asked about these things and the positions of the limbs in those dislocations. That's important. Now, there are some topics uh, which are randomly, I mean to say, segregated over the whole of the orthopedics, including the limbs, the trunk, the spine, the vertebral column as a whole. And what do we get over there? You know that from a upper limb perspective, you have got those herbs palsy. From thorax, the flail chest, the cervical rib syndrome, the fractures which I mentioned, not only the coolies fracture, you can have questions regarding the Galaxy's fracture, the Montegio fracture, the Cortez fracture, the Potts fracture, uh, so many Schaffer's fracture, so many questions and these are asked in the form of eponyms. So that's very important to remember different types of fractures, the names of the fractures, a question quite frequently asked. Then, as I told you, shoulder joint, it is not only important because of the dislocation and you can have questions regarding the frozen shoulder, the painful arc syndrome, the musculocutaneous uh, tendon and uh, uh, rapiers along the musculocutaneous cuff. That's very important. So many types asked. So these are some of the important things which have, and then important thing, uh, clinically oriented scenarios. And they are just revolving in one thing, deep venous thrombosis, DVT, as you can see. Then you can have these clinical scenarios also revolving around certain important things like fat embolism syndrome. In addition to the avascular necrosis of neck or femur and the resultant outcome. So clinical scenarios, you will be given a case scenario in which you will be asked that the patient had dash, dash and dash symptoms and then you will be asked to arrive at a diagnosis just in a manner which I have pointed over here, the cervical rib syndrome. So or a radiograph will be given in which you will be having a cervical rib and you will be given the manifestations of the uh, compression by the cervical rib and that's important so that's important to remember how questions will be asked around these things 
now uh, is there anything else to it yes you get so many things around as i just mentioned you briefly the painful arc syndrome okay and then uh, regarding uh, you have to take things in a systematic manner as well then say for example you have to remember elbow and around the elbow you have to remember certain countries like the tennis elbow the golfers elbow the students elbow isn't all those things I think I must have mentioned it over here the olecranon on birth sites the students elbow isn't it so you can see the golfers elbow over here which is the medial epicondylates the tennis elbow which is the lateral epicondylates so that's important uh, things like those you cannot miss and some of the important conditions like uh, mentioned here fracture fracture clavicle fracture mastoid fracture cribble for a plate of ethmoid leading to different things cess of otoria cess of rhinoria and these questions are very very important but they will be given in the form of a scenario or the fracture of dash bone results in which condition so that's important as you, as I just mentioned to you so going ahead so as I was telling you so this dislocation of the shoulder joint already said said nerve injuries which I already told you that that is the paralysis of the nerves important nerves like the uh, paralysis of the serratus anterior muscle the winging of scapula so very important things which you cannot now clinical scenarios revolving around pulmonary embolus fat embolus as i mentioned you then you can also have uh, important questions about the pulp space infections the infection in the pulp space that's important sciatic nerve I, injury i mentioned you sciatica then uh, tennis elbow I mentioned it really pretty frequently asked it these questions I mean to say that why I have given these questions because they have been repeated not once not twice not thrice they have been repeated multiple times and you expect them in future examinations as well because a lot of many things con are concentrated around an axis and these questions form an axis for the orthopedics so uh, uh, as I mentioned you so many fractures so wall barter fracture that's been very important then as well congenital things like the if uh, uh, pediatric age group which is affected just like the clawfoot just like the congenital dislocation of a hip and in a similar manner torticlosis or rhinic that's very important and uh, in addition to that uh, I mean multiple times questions about thoracic outlet syndrome have been asked uh, so I mean to say that uh, you have to go through these questions uh, and through these topics in a very 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 uh, I mean methodical systematic manner and these are the topics which you cannot forget at all you cannot skip them so I would just recommend you to go through these topics and in my future uh, lectures I'll be telling you some of the most important topics in subjects like medicine into opto pediatrics anatomy physiology pharma and social implementary medicine pathology included i wish you best of luck for your examinations but this is high time that you study with a lot of effort give a spike to your efforts now and expect good results thanks a lot